Washington Mornings on the Mall. At AM 630. WMAL. It's 837 on WMAL where Washington comes to talk. Uh, listen, uh, it looks like um, the folks at the Department of Transportation have just about had enough of what's going on with Metro right now. A big story uh, that has uh, come out that suggests that the Secretary of Transportation says, and I quote, we have the power to shut you down and we will uh, shut you down if things don't get better and things don't get better quickly. Uh, And here's the question. What would you do if uh, you found out that the metro system was going to be closed? How would you react? I mean, because I I sort of get the impression this is not just idle talk. I get the impression that they're serious about this and that the Department of Transportation is is uh, is beyond exasperated. Apparently, at one point when we had this big, you know, fireball, this ele- electrical arcing that uh, we've all seen on uh, social media, uh, they were told that they could not come in and investigate for a while. They were blocked for doing that. This did not sit well with the Department of Transportation, and now they're talking about the possibility of shutting down Metro. How would you react? How would that change your life? Give us a call, 888 Six two five. In the meantime, they have said, look, uh, you've got very a short period of time to do a couple of things. We think you need to reduce the length of your trains uh, because uh, you can't really support the power system, won't support that many cars. And secondly, you need to slow the trains down. So what this means for in the short term is even if they don't shut it down, you're going to face more crowded trains. You're going to face uh, longer waits to get on a train. And you're, when you get on a train, it's not going to get you there very quickly. So the, the situation is, is so dire in the minds of the Department of Transportation that they are now saying, look, you got to do this. And, and by the way, if we don't see huge changes, and we mean big safety changes quick, we're going to shut you down yep. so fast it'll make your head spin. Yeah, Secretary uh, Anthony Fox said we have the ability to withhold federal funds from Metro. We have the ability to shut Metro down, and we're not afraid to use it. I, I, I wonder, and I'd love for you know some ambitious member of the media to ask him exactly what what ability that is. Are they deriving their ability to shut Metro down be, by sure virtue, sheer virtue of being the federal Department of Transportation? And they can do this to any city, or is it specific to Washington D.C. because the metro here in D.C. is linked with the federal government? I'd I'd love to know that because I I was unaware the Department of Transportation can go into any city and say, okay, you can't run these buses or these trains anymore. Well, That's it'll be fascinating. It's been interesting to see what his authority uh, is, but I know it has to do with funding because they do provide some funding to so this. This this is all about and, and 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 some enterprising young young politicians on Capitol Hill should start making this case. And around the country, they should start making this case, and I'll roll it out there so that they can pick the ball up and run with it. This is all a result of one-party rule. There is one party that has been completely in power in this city from well before the metro was installed in town. One party was responsible for getting the funding. One party oversaw the planning. One party oversaw the implementation, and one party has overseen the maintenance and coordination and management of Metro. One party. And when one party is completely unaccountable and they know that they have power, heck, they can even throw a crack-smoking mayor up there and support him, and that party will continue to dominate the politics in that town. That tells you one thing. Screw the riders, screw the voters, screw the people of the Washington metro area. Area, We're never going to lose our power so we can throw hundreds of millions of dollars down the toilet, give jobs to people who are our cronies, give great contracts to all of the union members because they're going to support us in the end, and there's no accountability. And now, sadly, the chickens are coming home to roost, and the riders on Metro are paying the price for it. Two years ago, a year and a half ago, a young woman, or excuse me, she wasn't young, but a woman paid her life for the incompetence in the L'Enfant Plaza fire, and uh, nothing will change until the political uh, members of the the uh, the city are faced with an actual challenge by another party. And it's never going to happen, sadly. But this is the result of this is corruption at its best, and it's the result of one-party rule that's completely unaccountable to the voters. You know, I, I'm going to play, uh, you know, I, I accused you uh, kiddingly you know, a short time ago of being, you know, a, a conspiracy guy. I do have, I do, I do see an evil hand at play here. 
Look, do I think that the metro system needs needs money? Yes. Do I think it needs to be fixed? Yes. Uh, Do you hear comments from uh, Anthony Fox following, by the way, comments by President Obama that say that we uh, we need to spend money? Yeah, I I think they're making the case to hit us up for a lot more money. Uh, I think that's what this is all about. Show how dire the situation is and then ask for money. On the line now, D.C. Councilmember Charles Allen. Uh, uh, Councilmember, when you heard the Transportation Secretary say that uh, we can shut you down, what was your reaction? Oh, well, first off, good morning. Uh, and apologize for being a couple of minutes behind schedule. Uh, if you'll believe it, I was actually on Metro. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, we should, you should have expected to be late. <laughs> exactly. Well, hey, you know, um, in terms of what the transportation secretary was saying, um, you know, I, I appreciate the, the urgency with which he's, he's bringing to the issue. But, um, you know, I think what we've got to have is our Metro general manager and our Metro board um, really tackling this with the urgency that it needs. Well, I guess what he is saying is I don't see them making the moves that, that suggest to me they understand the, uh, the, 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 the seriousness of the situation. I think that's a, that's a hard sell for me. When you look at a new general manager, um, this is a guy who shut the whole system down one day. He's shutting stations down when he finds a problem. Um, i got to say, as somebody who takes Metro every single day, I ride the Metro rail, I ride the Metro bus, um, it actually gives me confidence to see the level of urgency that he's bringing. I think we had the first time ever, every manager pulled together in one single meeting. Um, it's kind of a shame that it ever happened before. It maybe speaks to the past leadership of, of Metro, but I do have confidence with this new general manager. I think he's bringing in the level of urgency that we need. Councilmember Allen, since you acknowledge you were, you were a little late with us, we've got uh, plenty more to discuss with you. Would you mind staying over? we gotta, we got to uh, let all of our listeners know about the traffic and weather here. As you know, it's Not pretty a, important. Stay with us, ha- would you? Happy to hang on. Thank Excellent. You. Thank so you Councilmember much. Charles Allen from the District stays with us as we discuss this uh, latest development with Metro. So you'll stay with us as well. And we continue now with Councilmember Charles Allen, Washington, D.C. Councilmember Ward 6. Is that right, Council? Member? That's correct. All right. Thank you for joining us. So let's get back to the, the Secretary of Treasury here threatening to shut down Metro. It, it, under what authority? It, just because he's Secretary of Treasury, he can shut down any Metro transit system that he finds unfit around the country, or is it specific to D.C. Metro because of the federal government's involvement? Oh, you know, I think uh, this is Transportation Secretary Fox. Um, he actually doesn't have the ability to, to just shut down the Metro system. Um, and, and frankly, because the federal workforce is, is actually very dependent upon Metro to get to work, um, you know, I, I, I think he's trying to make sure he shows folks that, that he's taking this seriously. Um, you know, they just re, they took a whole bunch of, of their Metro board members off and replaced them. Um, I think he's trying to show that he, he cares a lot about this. He's mm. trying to make sure there's urgency there. Um, but having... Uh, Wait, hold on. Because Secretary Fox said, and I'm quoting him now, yeah. I will have no hesitation to shut down the system. Now, you were saying that he has no authority to set on the system, so he's just grandstanding? I don't believe he has the authority to do that. We are three sovereign jurisdictions here, the, the district and, and, and Virginia and Maryland. Uh, we have a board of directors. We have an interstate compact that helps govern our metro hmm. system. Now, our federal partners are a partner. They're a part of that, and we certainly want to work with the transportation secretary. Um, but I think that, that shutting down the, the metro system uh, when your entire workforce depends on getting to work uh, you'd really be talking about almost shutting down the federal government. Yeah. And that's not something that Agreed. Agreed. He has said that what you need to do is reduce the amount of power that's being used by the metro system because the, the power system can't meet the, the demands that are being placed upon it currently. He's saying you need to reduce the power, the trains need to go slower, the trains need to be shorter. As you know, that's going to create a little bit of havoc mm-hmm. in the system that's already under stress. Well, that's uh, certainly what he looked at after the... Um the most recent incident uh, a couple of days ago where the insulator uh, essentially exploded um, on, the, on the platform. And I think we've got to look at how we do our, how it draws the energy. Um, you know, I'm sensitive to that because we also need to make sure the trains are running on time. We, we have to have a safety culture. We have to make sure that the trains are running safely. Um, and nobody wants to hear slowing down the trains or, or shortening them. Um, but we should be looking at all options to make sure that we have 100% confidence that it's a safe ride. You know, i got to think about this. Um, am I going to put my kid on Metro today? Am I going to put my mother on Metro today? Um, you need to have confidence that it's a safe ride. All right. Uh, there's plenty more to talk about on this issue. We talk about it almost daily, and uh, and we will continue to do so as it develops, but we've got to leave it there, unfortunately, today. We do appreciate you joining us. Look forward to having you again, sir. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. That's Thanks. Charles Allen, council member of the District of Columbia Ward 6.